Teddy Rosie, are you in the house? He's right here. Awesome sauce. Ready, Rosie. Go, man. What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm Keith Holliday, and I'm the lead software engineer at Ready Rosie. Um, does anybody in here have kids? Cool. So this half? <laughs> so I'm talking mostly to you. No. Um, so what we've created over at Ready Rosie is a platform that teaches parents activities that they can use with their kids to prepare them for grade school. And this all started with a problem. Well, in a recent national survey, it turns out that 65.6% uh, of children are somewhat prepared or not at all prepared for kindergarten. Just kindergarten, so not even the grades after. If you think about the inverse of that, that means only 35% of kids are actually prepared to enter kindergarten. That's a very small number, and we see that as a problem. Well, let me take it back a little bit, and early educators have actually known this for a while, and they said, okay, what can we do about it? So they looked back and they saw some research from Scholastic, and it turns out that parents are more effective at development than the preschool teachers, which kind of makes sense, and I'm sure the parents here can agree. Uh, <laughs> well, hopefully you agree. Um, the parents are with the children, you know, more than half the day and on the weekends. They have lots of opportunity, and they know the communication uh, to be able to educate their children, so they should be able to prepare. So these early educators, they're like, all right, so what can we do about this? We have 35% of people prepared. Um, how, can we, how can we equip the teachers, or the parents, to actually teach the children? Well, they do what they do, and they send uh, home these packets and papers and flyers, and they say, hey, parents, uh, here's some activities that your children can do on their own, or here's some activities that you can do with your children um, that will help them prepare and help them get ready for their upcoming school. Well, after some time, um, this was actually before the survey, and it turns out that we still have 35% of children unprepared. So that didn't seem to work completely. It helped a little bit in some cases. So then Ready Rosie saw this problem. We said, okay, how can we help? Well, we took a look back at the research, and it showed, all right, the activities where the parents interact directly with the children are the most effective. Once again, that's pretty intuitive. So we looked back at the papers, and we said, okay, let's take these activities that aren't just by the children's doing themselves. Let's move away from these apps where the children are only doing apps by themselves. And uh, let's take the activities where the parents actually sit down with the children. So we need a little bit more information. So we try to learn about the parents. And it turns out, all right, well, parents are getting online. Again, another intuitive statement. So we're like, all right, what are parents doing when they're online? Well, mostly they're looking at social media. But in particular, they're looking at social media in the sense of YouTube, and they're also looking at Pinterest, and they're learning, okay, they're learning activities on these platforms, like uh, how to build crafts, how to fix their house. Um, all right, so they're learning on these platforms. So how can, so with this knowledge, Rudy Rosie thinks, okay, how can we take these platforms where the parents are learning, take these activities from our teachers, and put them together? And then how can we equip these parents and inspire them to teach their children to prepare them for kindergarten so we can raise this number of 35% up. And our solution was two minute videos that model real parents doing these real activities in everyday scenarios. So for instance, if a parent is in the, at the grocery store, we give them a small activity they can do in under two minutes at the grocery store that will help them prepare for kindergarten. We take activities that they do in kindergarten, things that they'll learn in grade school, and we deliver them into an activity where parents will be able to do it at their house or if you're in the car. So just quick bits of information that they can give their child, quick activities that will engage their children to help them prepare. So then we thought, all right, well, how, how do we get the children, uh, or how do we get the parents this information? Well, what we came up with was the Daily Dean. And what we do is we get together with cities, we get together with districts, and we deliver these videos to the parents via an email, a text, or a push notification on a mobile app. So this seemed to work out. We actually tried it out with some cities and districts, and parents were getting the videos, they were watching the videos, they were interacting with their kids, and they were actually even giving us feedback. So we took all that information, we said, okay, we can do something with this new information. And we turned that into summaries 
that we provide back to the cities, back to the districts, back to libraries, and uh, educate our teachers and our caregivers and our early educators about what they can do. All right. I'm running out of time, but uh, anyways, it turned out good. Long story short, it did well. And we got with some schools, we got some uh, impact studies, and it turns out that about 85% of children saw an increase in literacy, 82% saw an increase in math, and we spread around. <laughs> It's a lot, uh, a lot longer in the rehearsal, it feels like. All right, any questions? Yeah. Um, so what we do is kind of like a, um, I always say business to business type model, but in the sense that we go to cities, we go to districts, or we go to leaders in different cities, really, and we sell directly to them. And what they'll do is they have, they're usually in charge of a certain number of libraries, a certain number of schools, and um, we pitch them an estimate or sale, or they've heard of us, and we sell directly to them. So. Exactly, so what they'll do is they'll buy these, they usually have funding, or they, they're usually looking for this type of activities to engage, like what are new ways to engage, They'll buy us as a solution, and then it's open to their parents. And then we kind of go from there. As in? So we have, OK, yeah, I got you. So we have several different pricing models, but our basic pricing model is like per site. And usually covers up to, I want to say, 1,000 to 5,000 children, depending on population density. Um, and we usually have, we'll, we'll price it by site, basically. So it's about um, 2,000 per site, depending on population density. Yeah, what's up? So, well, yeah, I, I got to, I was too slow in my speaking, but um, one of our major ways is we actually got with schools and universities and we did some studies um, in which they'll set up a whole study and they designed it and which will actually like take 100 to 500 families and test them on some skills before, kind of like a pre and post test type thing. Um, but we also have other engaged metrics, so we'll, um, we, t we do like annual pre and post surveys at the school level and we also measure our own engagement levels and the activities when they're interacting on our platform. Yes? Um, me, myself, a couple months, no, right, um, they, they've been around for about, our company has been around for about two years doing it, yes, 100 communities, yeah, thank you, yeah, <laughs> any other questions, uh, yes, Yeah, so we um, align with uh, standards, in a sense, um, but we also do local standards with the school. So to answer your question more specifically, we have, uh, we have from, we take kids from zero to third grade, and we have um, standards that we, that are national standards, and we put each kid on their, on those tracks. Is that what you're asking? Okay, yeah, so, so for example, if they're in first grade, there's kind of like a first grade track which they can do, and they can take that track all the way up to third grade. And then um, some schools, or a lot of schools actually, have specific information that they want to teach so we can go alongside them. So we customize the tracks, if you will, we call them sequences, um, to correlate with their actual teaching. So, so they can pick their own track. Any other questions? All right, thank you. <laughs>